All right, I would like to welcome everybody to our first just-in-time training of the 2021 Cookie Program. Thank you guys so much for being with me this evening. Um, this is going to be a little bit longer training than my normal just-in-times because I want you guys to have plenty of opportunities to ask questions since this is a new system for most of you. Few of you who've come from other councils may have used it in the past, but most of us have not used it or at least not used it in recent years. Um, I have already started my uploads for the eBuddy system, so some of you should begin getting your emails. Um, please be patient. There is still a lot of information I have to go through, and with our systems down, we have to go through different, uh, different methods to verify things. So I am going to be working on this all weekend, so if you haven't gotten your email just yet, be patient. You will be getting it soon. If you do not get your access email by Tuesday of next week, then please reach out to product at gsdsw.org and we can take a look and see why you haven't gotten that email yet. Um, now, in the meantime, once you get that email, you'll be able to go in, set up your username and password. You'll be then going to the Cookie Tech portal. Um, this is where you're going to see a lot of the different uh, apps and resources available to you. What we're going to be focusing on today is the eBuddy site, but I also want to point out there is an eBuddy demo site that you guys will be able to access. Feel free to go in and play. You can put in whatever transactions that you want and play with it. Um, I will be getting the same information that I've uploaded in the regular site uploaded into the demo site, so you guys will be able to um, play with those troop numbers as well. Uh, again, if you don't have access to the demo site right away, be patient. I do. That's another step that I have to go through. But you can play in that demo site as much as you want. Okay. All right. So once we go into your dashboard, now keep in mind this is council view, so you will not see quite as much information. But at the service unit level, you have your service units over here. I'm going to jump over to my council one. This is what the dashboard will look like for you guys. And I just locked my screen. There we go. Um, this is what the dashboard is going to look like for you guys. For most of you, you're only going to have one service unit. So you'll just have your service unit and everything will be pushed up. You won't have these top two sections. Um, but you only have your one service unit. For the couple of you who do have multiple service units that you work with, you'll have a list of the service units. And the one nice feature with eBuddy is all you have to do is click on that service unit and you'll go into that service unit's dashboard. So you don't have to um, do a switch use or a switch view or anything like that. It's just a simple click on the name and you move over to the other one when the system is cooperating. Okay, below it, you're going to see a list of troops. Um, let me go to, yep, Desert Diamonds. I know a couple of you guys are on here. I'm going to borrow your guys' council for, or service unit for just a moment. You'll see that some of the troops are um, dark while some of them are grayed out. The grayed out ones are currently in there as inactive because either they do not have a troop cookie coordinator assigned to them yet, or uh, they may be ineligible, maybe because of the girl numbers or there's some other issue right at the moment and we have not activated them. Um, if they are dark, then that means that they have a troop cookie coordinator. The troop cookie coordinator, coordinator may not have been uploaded yet, but we do have one on file and are working on getting them approved. So not all of the volunteers are in yet, but are in process. All right, I'm gonna jump back over to my council one here. From your dashboard, you're gonna be able to track the progress of the sales. You can see there is some information in here from 2019, 2020. Our wonderful representatives at um, Little Brownie Baker have worked to put in as much information from our 2020 year as absolutely possible so that you guys will be able to compare your data um, as much as you can. Now, keeping in mind, last year we did have an extra cookie, those thanks a lot that we're not going to have this year. Um, so some of the data has been modified to account for that. Um, and not everything is going to be as black and white um, as you would expect it to be because the systems are very different and the information that I was able to provide 
wasn't as easy to read. Um, and it may not be 100% accurate, but it should be very close. So that way you guys have an idea as to what you're looking at. All right, it's also gonna give you um, overall how your troops are doing, your girls, the girls in those troops are doing, and even some quick links to places like the e-training site, um, DOC, and the Built By Me cookie planner. You also have your calendar dates over here and a checklist. Some of the items on this checklist you guys aren't going to have to worry about because they're going to be handled at the council level. Um, others are going to be done by you. And you're going to, as you guys get into this and look at your guides, you'll be able to see what is yours and what is not. Okay, your contact list. And mine's not going to come up at the moment. Um, will be who is in charge of that service unit. So this will be, um, and actually I believe you can also set this as where you can also email everybody in your uh, chain. So your troop leaders that are in your count, your service unit, uh, your cookie chairs, anybody that is uh, that has access to the system within your service unit, you'll be able to email straight out of eBuddy. All right. Now the settings tab for you guys, you don't need to do much. Um, you can, I believe, edit some calendar and messages. You can do, I believe, some settings. Um, a lot of this you're not going to be able to uh, add additional people because that is going to be at council level. Um, but you can, if your service unit has a package uh, goal, you can add that kind of information as well. Are they able to text everyone on the contact list? Um, if they are, if they want to receive texts, that's going to be between you and your service unit um, and your volunteers as far as how they receive that information. Um, and feel free, you guys can go ahead and unmute yourself. I know in my fall product trainings, I was asking you guys to stay muted, but for this particular one, because I do want you guys to ask questions, you can unmute yourself to ask questions or you can type them in the chat box as well, whichever you're comfortable with. Okay. You also have a list of your troops here. You will not be allowed to add troops. That is going to be at my level, um, but you can, I believe update some of their basic information. I am also still learning this system, so I apologize. I don't know, I don't remember all of the exact permissions you guys have um, off the top of my head, but you'll be able to at least see your list of troops here um, and who is participating in DOC. Now going on to our initial orders. This is gonna be what one of the aspects that you guys are gonna be working on um, here very, very soon. So you'll have all of your troops listed, and you see this uh, asterisk when it grayed out means they have not submitted an initial order at this time. Um, after December 14th, between the 14th and the 16th, you will need to review all of the orders that have been submitted, you know, making sure that there's nothing that's outlandish that might be a possible error or anything like that, or making sure that they've actually put in their order. Um, so that way they don't miss that deadline if they are participating. Once everybody's orders are in, if you do have troops that are on your list but have not submitted an initial order, you will need to go into their troop and submit an order of zero. Um, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But once everything has been confirmed, then you're going to submit your overall service unit order. All right. And I'm going to jump for just a moment down to your troop view. And I'm going to jump over into the initial order. So from here, this is where you will, um, you can't yet because, or can yes, you can, my bad. Um, so you can actually put in your initial orders right now. Um, it is active. Do we have somebody in the waiting room? Here, I got them. Um, you'll put in the order, as I said, for any troops who missed the order, you'll put it in as zero. Now, if you do have a troop that reaches out saying, I missed the deadline or there's a mistake on my order, I need to fix it, you'll go into their account, select the order, or actually you'll unsubmit it, select the order, correct it, hit okay, submit, and then you'll be good to go. 
Okay. Your delivery tab, you should not, the service units shouldn't need to worry too much about the delivery tab because that's going to be more for the troop side of things. Um, the troops are going to be the ones picking up directly from the cupboards. Um, this is going to be more for if the service unit has um, a service unit order and no service units will be doing that this year. You'll have cupboard orders, um, but it's going to be the troops that will have the rest of the orders. Um, again, transactions, you're not going to need to worry about at the service unit level. Um, and transaction pickups are for cupboards. So let's see. The rewards will go into more detail in a later training um, because it's not active yet. You won't be able to access any of this, but this is where you will go at the end of the season um, to be able to enter in that information. And then the other spot that I want you guys to take a look at is the reports. We'll go into more detail about the different reports that you'll need in a later training, um, but they do have lots of reports uh, here, so I urge you guys to play with this as much as you can. So do you guys have any questions so far? We do have one. Um, will I be able to use the same username and password for SU Cookie Chair and Troop Cookie Coordinator? Provided you've given us the same email address. Um, it, you need to make sure that, because I've actually, as I was going through, I did find a, uh, one or two instances where I have a different email address for service unit versus troop. If you give us different email addresses, then you'll be, you'll have to do a different pass, uh, username and password because the usernames are tied to those emails. But if it's the same um, email, then yes, you will be able to use the same username and password for service unit and troop because it's all tied together. If you need to, um, uh, uh, if you need to correct it, then let us know and we will get that fixed in the system. When did you say we'd have access to enter the initial order in the system? Uh, initial orders go until December 14th for the troops so they can at, enter them right now. The troops have until the 14th to submit them and then you will have until the 16th to submit the service unit order. What about additional orders? Um, those, so additional orders for um, as the season progresses, we'll actually have a separate training on that, um, but that you won't have to worry about because that'll be handled at the cupboard level um, for the troops. And no, the ACH information does not carry over for nuts. The troops will have to enter in that information themselves. And thank you for bringing that up. Um, the troops, when they go into their account, they'll go over to settings, edit settings, and this is where they will enter in that information. All right. Um, and I'm trying to remember off the top of my head where. And unfortunately, I cannot remember off the top of my head where it says if uh, the quick way of checking if they've done it, other than to go into each one and check that it's in there. I want to say there is a report that will tell you what information has been entered um, and what hasn't, but I haven't verified that one yet. But that is how, where the troops will have to enter. And they do have to enter that information immediately um, because they're not allowed to pick up product until that information is in the system. Andrea, my question was, um, when will we have access to the system to be able to input our initial orders? When um, are you gonna get the, our uh, username access and that things that kind of thing to us it depends on when you've submitted your um, uh, information to product so we need um, the the troop coordinators name um, email and troop number uh, for yourself as well and all of that information needs to be sent into product at gsdsw.org so that we can verify we're verifying as quickly as we can. And once um, that information is confirmed, if they've attended the troop training last week, they'll get temporary access. 
Otherwise, as soon as your GS Learn training is done, you'll be able to get access, which is why I'm monitoring how quickly GS Learn comes back up. So it kind of depends on when we get your information in. And Andrew, you did say that they will all have access by Tuesday, correct? If, yeah, if you have completed your trainings or at least attended the service unit live training um, and you meet all other eligibility requirements, so you're in good standing, your background check is good, and your membership is up to date, um, then you should have access no later than Tuesday. Um, if any of those are outstanding, oh, and you've turned in your agreement form. If any of those are outstanding, that will delay you getting into the system. And there's another question somebody asked, should we be telling you in email what troops we want to participate? Um, I sent out a troop volunteer template to everybody, to all the service unit cookie chairs, and you can fill that template out, email it back to product at gsdsw.org, and I will go ahead and get them over and started into the approval process, and then we will move on from there. Mm -hmm. uh and, and that's, I mean, that's all that we really need. All, all active troops uh, that are eligible will be uploaded into the system, whether they intend to participate or not. Um, and there's a couple of different reasons why we do that. But the main reason is so that when we're looking at our um, progress for the year compare, and we're looking at budgeting for next year, we know how many of our troops are participating and how our troops are doing. So all troops will get uploaded into the system, whether they're participating or not, so long as they're an active and eligible troop. Um, but we do need from you the volunteer information for the troops that are participating so that we can get them started. Andrea, you, this is Barbara Franco with Desert mm -hmm. Flower. Um, you may have mentioned this and it didn't click with me or I didn't register, but on the 14th, the troops have until the 14th to put their orders in. Is Correct. there a particular time? Yes, 11.59 p.m. Mountain Time. Mountain Time, okay. Yeah, all uh, times for the system are based off of Mountain Time. Um, and anytime there's a specific day, if uh, it's gonna be 11.59 unless I indicate otherwise. Okay. Where are Juliet's info on selling? Um, so it will be in, actually, that is a very good question, Maria. So I'm going to jump over to Fort Bliss because I know off the top of my head, there's a Juliet in there. Um, you will see their information in the system just like a normal troop, but all Juliet numbers are gonna start with a nine. So if you click on it, you'll be able to go and check out the um, uh, contact information. Let me see, yep, it's in there. That was one of the ones I was trying to get uploaded right before this meeting started. So it'll be in with your service unit just like everything else. I had a troop ask me, uh, well, she's a troop leader, but she doesn't think they're going to continue as a troop. And so she was asking me if her daughter could go in as a Juliet, but she asked about the troop, like the troops earn money. Mm -hmm. What happens with the Juliets? Do they actually earn money? No, the I don't Juliet think so. The Juliets do not receive any proceeds for um, participating. They still get their initial or their um, recognitions. recognitions. <laughs> Sorry, they still get their recognitions. Um, and the service unit will still get proceeds off of the Juliets um, that are selling within theirs, but there is no troop, troop proceeds. So yeah, if there's any troops that aren't participating, make sure you guys are still reaching out to the girls because if the girls want to participate, they absolutely can as um, Juliet's or they're actually called IRMs um, and we'll put them into the system. Okay, so they need to, we need to let you know who they are or they need yeah. to let you know? No, you, we want all communication um, to go through the service units, uh, okay. you guys. Um, now we do have some that reach out because they don't know who their service unit chair is. And in those cases, we will make sure to connect you guys. But whenever possible, we do ask that they go through you guys since you are that first line of um, information. Great, thank you. And, and we'll also be putting out emails to troops that um, we don't have information on or the girls who are like in our virtual troops and stuff like that. We'll be put, sending out some emails here soon, reminding them that the cookie program is getting started and if they wanna participate, how they can go about doing that as well. Did you have recommendations for how many, um, I, I received all of the boxes of the sample cookies and things. Mm -hmm. So do we just like 
two cookies per girl, that's how many packages we give that they have in the troop? Or do you have recommendations on that? Um, Honestly, part of it's going to depend on how many troops you have in your service unit and how many, because they round it up. So the exact numbers is going to vary based on service unit as far as how many extras you guys have. Um, okay. So it's really going to be kind of at your judgment. I'm going to let that be your guys' judgment as far as how you guys want to split that up um, and what you want to do with those extras. Okay, thank you. Andrea. Mm -hmm. If they haven't received their the sample cookies, because we have people asking about them. Um, At Sunset, I see that. Uh, yeah. West Sunset, your stuff is actually in the El Paso office. So West Sunset and Indian Summer are going to need to coordinate with me to pick up your guys' supplies. Oh, so one, more, one more really quick question. Somebody asked, does any, uh, is there any basic booth info yet? Um, not yet, but I'll, let me come back to that before I forget. There is a typo on the, the order cards. Uh, the s'mores are actually at $4. So all of your order cards, please throw them away. Um, LBB is in the process of a rush printing to replace all of our order cards, and they will be sending those out to the addresses they have on file. Um, and those are expected within the next couple of weeks. So all of your order cards are no good, toss them, and you will be getting new order cards shortly. Um, also, how do they get them if they're in outer lying areas? How do they uh, get them? Cheryl, once you're done with your training, you'll connect with Veronica, um, except for some reason your box got returned. So it is having to get reshipped. I, I think the delivery guy tried delivering to the wrong address and it got refused. Um, so once you're done with your training, you'll connect with Veronica and she will get you your supplies. Um, back to the booth question real quick. Not yet, um, Maria, on the booth information. Um, I am just now getting my final approval on the document that's going out to my booth people, but I do need more volunteers. Um, so if you're interested in helping, um, and a lot of it's gonna be done virtually, like through email and that kind of thing. Uh, as far as reaching out to get those booths. Um, I'm going to give you guys a heads up. Walmart right now is not confirmed. Walmart is being um, very cautious. We do not know if we are going to have any Walmart booths, but we do know we have some booth uh, locations. We do have a couple of the other options to include virtual booth, but I'm going to have a complete comprehensive training on all of that once I have all of the information. I don't want to do piecemeal information. Um, so it's all going to come out at one time once it's all together. Were cookies separate from troop paper supplies? They should have been all together. Um, for the most part, there should have been several boxes, um, Maria. So if you haven't gotten them, get Remind me, shoot me a, shoot an email over to product with exactly what you did receive so that I can look into that. Mine came okay. separate. My box of the forms and everything came first and then like two, three days later, the sample cookies came in. Okay. Um, and it's probably because they came from two different locations. And Indian Summer and Painted Desert, yes, I believe all of your supplies are at the council office. Not Painted Desert. Uh, I don't know about Painted Deserts, West Sunset. Oh, sorry, West, West Sunset. Sun <laughs> yes, Indian Summer and West Sunset will need to coordinate with me. Uh, if And I believe you guys have both completed um, the majority of your guys' service unit training through the meeting the other week. If either of you are able to pick up on Tuesday, I'm already at the office. Yes, um, Patricia, you can... I mean, aside, except for the envelopes, because the envelopes can be used year to year, I think everything else at this point is try, uh, you can throw away from um, fall product. We are working on fine tuning our orders of supplies so we don't have so much extra, but that's gonna take some time to get down for me. Okay, and you said Tuesday? Yeah, I'm gonna be at the office on Tuesday. If you can just shoot an email to product with what time you can be there. Um, and I can have your guys' stuff pulled and ready to go. It's several big, it's several boxes. Um, to make sure you have space. Okay, and what um, is the earliest time you're there at council? I'm there as early as 8 a.m. 
I'll be there from eight to six normal hours. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Did I miss any other questions, Danny? No, ma'am. Okay. All right. Anything else that you guys can think of or that you, and I just realized I left my husband's stuff up there. I'm sorry. Let me switch back over. <laughs> All right. Anything else that you guys want to look through? Um, I mean, we still have the troop training tonight as well. And that one's going to go into a little bit more detail on the, the troop side of the dashboards. Um, we are still looking, like I said, for booth volunteers, booth coordinators, um, as well as cupboard volunteers, especially in some of our outlying areas. Um, I'm hoping to have a booth training scheduled within the next by next week by the beginning of next week i'm hoping to have a um booth training scheduled for those booth volunteers that i do have um and then a covered training not long after that as well all right if nobody else has any other questions i'm trying to think of what else i can show you guys right now andrea i have a question yeah. this is jeanette of course jeanette. so when you said the supplies are being resent. Is that being resent to the to the um, the cookie chairs where everything was originally resent? Because I'm just wondering if troops already came up their materials. Do they will they need to go back to that service unit um, cookie chair to pick them up, or are they going to the cook coordinator? No, they're going they're going to the service unit chairs because that's the information that the the baker has. They can't break it all the way down to the troop level. The service unit levels as far as they can go. Um, so it will be going back to that service unit chair, that address that they have on file. And it's again only the um, order cards that's being reprinted. So the logging girl money and bank transactions, uh, the girl money portion will be handled at the troop level. Bank transactions will again ha be handled at the council level. Um, and we'll have the ACHs, the, I will have a, a separate training that will show exactly how all of that will look um, a little bit later once more aspects of the site are live. Um, there are a few things that won't go be accessible to everybody until we get closer to the start of the sale. Um, so I can't really show you guys exactly how that will look just yet, but you'll be able, the girl or the troops will handle that part of it and then council will upload the bank transactions. Yes, that is the plan this year. Um, so as a reminder, all ACHs for the service units do need to be turned in. They do not roll over year to year. Um, so we do need to have a 2020-21 uh, ACH form and it has to have the 2020 and 21 years on it. If you do not have a copy of that email product and um, Danny will be able to shoot that over to you guys, but we do need that back and especially for the, the fall product because those ACHs are going to be processed next week along with the troop ones. So if I do not have an ACH on file next week, the service unit won't be able to get their proceeds. And if you need to know who has turned in their ACH, just shoot me an email. I'll let you know if I have one or not. Mm -hmm. And then actually I wanted to check on something. Um, and the there is should be a report in here too that will tell you um, how much the service unit will be receiving in proceeds. The only thing that the eBuddy site will not show, unfortunately, is the early bird proceeds for the service unit um, because the way it's structured, that's the only one that we won't be able to add in there. So that one will be a separate transaction. Um, and just like uh, for fall product, it will be at the end of the season. It'll be show up as a credit into your guys's um, account it'll be a little bit different um the troop ones however will be put in i'll be able to include that um they're not in the early birds are not in yet for the troops but they will be i there's a very easy yes or no that i click and then the troop will be able to see their early bird proceeds from the beginning andrea we have a couple of questions yep. if they 
send in an ACH for fall product, you do not have to send in another service unit Correct. ACH cookies. It's that one is good for the, the year. Yep. Yeah, it's um, good for the membership year. Service units will have access if approved service unit cookie chairs by Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Troops will have it by um, troops should also, if they've been um, approved, if they've met all of the requirements, they should also be receiving their logins by Tuesday. Awesome. So I've already started doing those uploads. Perfect. And if, um, if troops miss the December 1st training, yes, they can absolutely take the training on GS Learn when it is up and running again. Mm -hmm. I've already been uploading them into GS Learn on my end. So once it becomes available to them, they will be able to go in and take the training. Yep. And um, my understanding is by Monday, we should have a better idea as to when volunteers will be getting access to the system. And so, as I said, if it is going to be too long, then I will um, schedule another training for both service units and troops, excuse me, to help get you guys trained. Um, but I, I really wanna see if that GS Learn is gonna be up quickly or not. And also, please remind your um, troop cookie coordinators to activate their GS Learn if they have not done so already so that they can be um, assigned the training in GS. Well, when once it goes live. They can't do it right now because all of that is shut down. But once it is live, they do have to go in and activate it um, first. Or at least that's how it was with the previous system. It might, I don't know if it's going to still be the same or not, but it doesn't hurt to try. And if you have any issues with GS Learn, please make sure to reach out. And with GS Learn questions, you can um, reach out to info um, because we also have some GS Learn experts that will be able to answer your questions if Danny and I can't. Um, so questions that are very generic, always go through info at gsdsw.org, whereas product specific questions will come through us. Okay. Yes, uh, Christina, we can, Danny can get you that information. I'm going to look at it right now for you. Yep. Yeah. And I'm that's, like, I can't remember because I got so many like things and I'm like, and did we, I register for that one too? I, I don't know. And we've had a few people that have signed the forms twice, which is fine as well. Yeah, I, I don't, I think I did, but I don't know if it was for service unit and troop or just service unit. So, yeah. but not have any troops um in mountain poppy yet i don't have their okay. information so i must have filled out the service unit one twice yes. so yeah we'll get that over but that <laughs> no, is i'm right there almost i'm I have right there with you christina because yeah. i've seen so many trainings and emails and forms yeah. that i can't remember what's what <laughs> yeah and but that is a good reminder too you um if you are a service unit and a troop person, you do have to fill out both forms because they are separate agreement forms. So just because you fill out the service unit one does not mean it qualifies for the troop one. So you do have to fill out that second one too. Can, can you send that to me, please? Yep. Or can um, I find it on GS, GSW? Uh, mm, no, it's a link. Yeah. I'll, I'll send it to you. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm behind on getting my links over to um, Isabel to upload, so, but she'll send it to everybody so that you guys have it, or at least people who haven't filled one out yet. Yeah, so I can send it out to, to the rest of the troops, too, because mm -hmm. I don't it, remember. So if I, I, I get off here, I'll just email it to all the SUCCs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. also in the training, too. It's one of the modules in the training as well, um, but until we get the training live, it's a great way to at least get us started so we have all of your information. Yes, thank you. Yeah, and it looks like Painted Desert wants it as well. Yeah, like she said, everybody will get it. <laughs> all right. All right, any other questions? You guys have got lots of questions, I love it. All right, well, if you guys are good to go, then I'm going to go ahead and stop my recording.